Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Art and Literature. Let's get to it. Question 1. What surname did the writer, born Adeline Virginia Stephen, publish her novels under? Is it A. Wolf? B. Bronte? C. Christie? Or D. Austin? The answer is A. Wolf. Virginia Woolf, a central figure in the modernist literary movement, was known for her innovative narrative techniques. Her surname Woolf came from her marriage to Leonard Woolf, a fellow writer and political theorist. Together, they founded the Hogarth Press, which published works by T.S. Eliot and Sigmund Freud, among others. Question 2 in the Canterbury Tales, at which tavern do the storytellers assemble? Is it A. The Red Lion? B. The Altar? C. The King's Head? Or D. The Tabard? The answer is D. The Tabard. In Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, the storytellers gather at the Tabard Inn, a lively establishment in Southwark, London. This inn was a real place and served as a popular starting point for pilgrims heading to Canterbury. Its bustling atmosphere set the stage for the diverse tales that followed. Question 3. Which book contains the character Newland Archer? Is it A. The House of Mirth? B. The Age of Innocence. C. On the Road. Or D. Heart of Darkness. The answer is B. The Age of Innocence. In Edith Wharton's Pulitzer Prize-winning novel The Age of Innocence, Newland Archer navigates the complexities of love and societal expectations in 1870s New York. The book offers a vivid portrayal of the Gilded Age, capturing the tension between personal desires and rigid social norms with Wharton's signature wit and insight. Question 4. Which artist painted the sleepers? Is it A. Caravaggio? B. Gustave Courbet? C. René Magritte? Or D. Pablo Picasso? The answer is B. Gustave Courbet. Gustave Courbet, the master of realism, painted The Sleepers in 1866. This provocative piece features two women entwined in slumber, challenging societal norms with its bold depiction of intimacy. Courbet's daring approach to art often sparked controversy, yet it paved the way for future avant garde movements by pushing boundaries and embracing raw human emotion. Question 5. Which author wrote The Magician's Nephew? Is it A. Douglas Adams? B. C. S. Lewis? C. Neil Gaiman? Or D. Jack Vance? The answer is B. C. S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis, the author of The Magician's Nephew, was a close friend of J.R.R. Tolkien, creator of The Lord of the Rings. They were both members of an informal literary group called The Inklings, where they shared and critiqued each other's work over pints at an Oxford pub called The Eagle and Child. Question 6. Which author wrote Metro 2033? Is it A. Salman Rushdie? B. Agatha Christie? C. Dmitry Glukowski Or D. Stephanie Meyer The answer is C. Dmitry Glukowski Dmitry Glukowski, the author of Metro 2033, initially published his novel online for free, allowing readers to provide feedback. This interactive approach helped shape the book before it became a bestseller. 
The post-apocalyptic tale set in Moscow's metro system has since inspired video games and a dedicated fan base worldwide. Question 7. Which author wrote Candide? Is it A. Voltaire? B. Paolo Coelho? C. Isabel Allende? Or D. Stendhal? The answer is A. Voltaire. Voltaire, the pen name of François-Marie Arouet, wrote Candide in 1759 as a satirical novella that critiques optimism and societal norms. Despite its biting humor and controversial themes, it became an instant classic. Voltaire's wit was so sharp that he famously said, I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. Question 8. Which piece of written work starts with the line, we should start back, Garrett urged as the woods began to grow dark around them? Is it A. A Game of Thrones? B. The Wizard of the Emerald City? C. The Silver Chair? Or D. The Amber Spyglass? The answer is A. A Game of Thrones. The opening line of A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin sets the tone for a saga filled with intrigue and danger. This epic fantasy novel, published in 1996, sparked a cultural phenomenon that led to one of the most-watched TV series ever, captivating millions worldwide with its complex characters and unpredictable plot twists. As we close the book on today's canvas of questions, remember, life imitates art, but trivia makes it a masterpiece. Keep painting your knowledge. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Good night for now, until we cross paths again tomorrow. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.